Hello. No, why I have no connection? Hello, everyone. This is Hilda, and uh, I want to say hi first to you. How is everybody doing? I hope that you're doing good. I hope that you are enjoying uh, your uh, Saturday and the same like I'm doing <laughs> and um, I want to talk to you about something that I mentioned before because before I talk about that I wrote about that on my blog but I find uh, yesterday something that it will help me and maybe it will help you too because if you love makeup if you do your makeup and uh, you use um, these tools brushes for your makeup uh, I don't know if you find that uh, sometimes it's difficult to clean it them because you know I remember long time ago I used to um, when I was washing them I used to wet all of them all of the the brush not only this part but the whole thing and what was this doing to my brushes? They were uh, making a mess <laughs> because you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to wet this part because what is going to happen is going to make this part loose and then you're going to lose, like you see this part. <laughs> That's what I was doing because I didn't know exactly how I supposed to clean my brushes and I was taking them to the sink and I put a soap and I wet the whole thing and I did all also with um, no warm water but I was doing with kind of hot water thinking that that way it will help to um, clean it better but no instead of doing that I was making a mess with my brushes so I want to talk to you about this I mentioned before when you clean this you have to use soap and if uh, for for my experience to use soap is better to use a soap that is very gentle because you know this is something that it goes into your skin so you want to use something that is very gentle to you and the preference I use a uh, uh, cleaning soap. Let me show you what I use. Either I use this one, which is uh, Mrs. Mayer Clean uh, Dish Dish Soap, uh, Dish Soap, and uh, this one is something that it doesn't have no chemicals. It's eco-friendly. It's natural. It has aloe vera, and uh, this is something very very good. It doesn't have parabens not nothing no chemicals at all so this is something that i really love it and this one is uh uh a smell like um it has like a, a lemon smell this is and there is different kinds of these different aroma and uh, i love it and there is another brand that is kind like this i i used to use that too before but then when i went to the supermarket i find this one and uh, sometimes I use to use my uh, soap, the soap that uh, we use for um, washing our hands. That's okay too. And um, I know that some people they use coconut oil to clean their ear brushes, and I think that's fine too. But it's up to what it works for you. But for me, it's working right now that soap. And also, I know that I start to be careful when I wash and instead of making all of them wet I just wet the part that these bristles are this one that's what I wash so I make sure that if uh, any water goes uh, close to here I put when it's uh, time to them uh, let it dry I put like this so that, then the water goes out if it's any water inside of this part it goes out too so and I put in a, uh, a, a towel underneath and I, I put like a little pillow with a towel over here so the, the, the brushes they go like this but um, yesterday like I say I was going to the supermarket and then I went to a store because I need to buy something for today and I was going around and I was looking around and I find something that it will help me 
And that's why I'm doing this video because I want to show you what I find. I find this tool that I was um, watching somebody using, but I never saw that. In, so yesterday was my lucky day, I guess, <laughs> because I, I saw this. This is what I'm talking about. This is a brush cleaning mat. And like uh, you know me, if you know me now, my favorite color is purple. So I have to buy one that is uh, purple. <laughs> so I'm gonna open because I didn't even have a chance to use it yet, but I'm gonna show you how it is. I have my scissor here. And this is gonna be today, later on, not now, but I, I will start to use it. But I will explain you how this one works. So let me see how I can open, because sometimes this, this is uh, not easy to open. It's very, very safe. And, and uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't even have the chance. Lucky, my dog is running all over. I know that he's doing a mess right now because he is very messy when I go to do Facebook lives. I guess he doesn't like it. And he is going, probably making something, you know, because he's, sometimes he doesn't like Facebook lives. I don't know why, but he doesn't like me to do that. <laughs> but I do anyway. <laughs> okay. This is what I'm talking about. This is the uh, mat for uh, to help cleaning the brushes. And this one, uh, it goes like this. You put your hand under here. And then when it's about time to clean your brushes, and by the way, this one, let me see what it say here. The material of this is silicone. And this one is in a shape of a pineapple. If you see it, this is a shape that uh, is a pineapple shape. And if you see those little things, like uh, little designs around this, it has a purpose. So I'm gonna read it to you what it say here. Okay, uh, this little part over here, over here, when you wet your brushes, you wet this part and then you're gonna come here and then just move it because I don't know if you notice if you do if you wash your brushes when you brush your brushes with your hand like this it's very hard that the dirty things that is in here inside of this coming out it doesn't come out but the way that I was doing on my sink is this way I was going like this I was going to my sink and I was going to the middle of my sink and I was going like this. If I go like this, all the dirt, you's going, you see that the dirt is coming out. But if I go like this, it doesn't come out. That's why this one is very, very handy. This is very handy. So you wet your brush and then you go like this in this part, in this little part because it's for a small brushes. Okay, then the same thing is gonna be with the long brushes or big brushes. You're gonna go over here. Wet it, and then you're going over here. Like you see, these brushes that I have right now, they are dirty. I didn't wash them in a three days, maybe. And today is the time that I'm gonna do this with this tool. So this one goes like this here. And then when it's about, about to time to put the soap, you're gonna wet everything. You're gonna put soap. If you want, you put soap in here a little bit and make like a bubble here. Or either in a little container, uh, just pour a little water and then put a few uh, drops of soap and then mix it with your fingers and then you can squish this part in there and then come here. And then let me show you what are these part tones. Okay, this part over here, this part is for large brushes. You're gonna wash the large brushes in this one. So means you're gonna wash uh, the large brushes, you can wash this there. See, the, the, it's wet, it's with soap, and then you come over here and just move it around because that's it's gonna help them to clean. 
and then for the medium brushes like this medium brushes like this you're gonna come over here in this part see those like a little star or X right there this is the medium brushes too over here see over here and then when it's the little brushes like this one when it's with soap and everything you're gonna go in these little parts and then you're gonna move around and with the soap it's gonna everything is gonna come out and I don't know if you see it but this is dry but I I start to see the dirt coming out like a like a pounder because I know that this one needs to be washed. So that's the way that it does. And then when it's time to rinse it, you're gonna open the sink and then you're gonna pour a little water, even in your container if you want, or even the sink running with warm water, not too hot, not. And then when it's about time to rinse it, you're gonna rinse it down here, everything. The big brushes, the small brushes, you're gonna go rinse it over here, right there, in this line, this line. So this one is gonna help you to, to clean better. And I love this tool because I saw somebody using this and I know that it works because that's what do you need when you want to clean uh, in a better way your brushes. So I know that this one works and I didn't use it yet, but I know because brushes, you know, if you go and under the sink and you just squish like that, it's not helping that. It, you could see that something is cleaning, but it's not because inside of this part of the bristles is a lot of dirt, especially if you don't wash. I see people that they don't wash their uh, brushes in a week two weeks, three weeks. Me, I used to wash uh, every day. Now I do every other day, uh, but this past two days I didn't do it, so it's time to do it because you, you don't want to keep reusing the brushes and keep applying makeup on your uh, face because you know what is gonna happen? It's gonna, it's gonna make your face uh, with pimples and everything. You want brushes that are clean, you know? and you don't, you don't want to get uh, all of those red spots that I had before. Remember when I, I was here, uh, not too often now, but I was here maybe um, four weeks ago. Lucky, come here, Lucky. I was here uh, like a four weeks ago. I have those, my cheeks were red and they were uh, because I wasn't drinking enough water and also because I wasn't drinking enough water and I was, uh, I wasn't lucky Ben. I wasn't taking uh, care of my uh, skin, on my face. Uh, every time when I go and apply it makeup again, instead of healing, it goes, it went worse. So that's why I'm telling you, you have to be very careful when you use uh, brushes for makeup. I don't know, maybe you don't use too many, maybe you use a few, whatever you use, you know, be careful, be careful because you know, uh, I love makeup. I like makeup because it makes me feel better. It makes me fix some of the things that I need to fix on my face because you know what? Uh, if I take this thing out, you don't see my, my browns. So that's why I love makeup because it, it helps, it helps to correct things that uh, you want to look better, you know. But at the same time, when you, it's like a, it's like a every, everything. When you do something uh, in order to work, you have to do something else. The same thing with makeup. In order to work the makeup good for you, and you have to take care of the things that you use for applying the makeup. So I hope that this video is good for you. I hope that I maybe give you an idea. And uh, if you live, if you live uh, in the United States, I bought this at TG Maxx, and I bought that. Uh, it was just it wasn't I wasn't planning to buy this, but when I was there, I was looking, and then I saw this, and I say I had to get this because this one is is gonna help me a lot. It's gonna save me lucky. 
it's gonna save me uh, time and that's what I need. So hopefully uh, you get one <laughs> because I saw them uh, in different colors. I saw them in uh, different shapes and I hope that, uh, you know, if you, you use a lot, uh, a lot of them like me, I have plenty of this. See, <laughs> I have more. <laughs> so you need one of these. You need one of these and probably when uh, I'm going to just finish to, to clean my makeup, I'm going to just rinse it and then hanging there in a place that it gets dried so that way i preserve it and it's gonna last me for a long time so thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that it has value to you and uh, any questions any comments just drop below <laughs> you know and uh you know i'm not doing so many facebook lives but i do videos and i like i like to do videos because uh, the thing with videos is that it helped me to do everything in once because uh, I was thinking to do a video about this, uh, but then I realized that I I had to go live, you know, it's like uh, talking to you in person, you know, and uh, if I was about to do a video, I probably be doing uh, everything, you know, watching and then recorder to show you but this time I did different so but I explained how it works and this is it this is a good good tool if you like makeup thank you so much and I will see you soon have a good uh, Sunday too bye